Hey, this is Pete Singer. I'm the editor of Semiconductor Digest. And I'm here talking to Kudip Kurt, who is the head of operations of the digital solutions um, component of the electronic business at Merck, um, I think known as EMD Electronics here in the US and Canada. So uh, Kurt, Kudip, uh, could you tell us, tell us a little bit about the, the group and, and why you formed that group? Yeah, hi Pete, sure. So in 2018, we had a challenging quality excursion, which had not been resolved for six months. Uh, we developed and implemented a structured problem solving method that is induced by data sharing with, with the customers. And uh, we solved the issue in six weeks with this methodology. Actually, what started as a quality problem and root cause investigation led us a uh, discovery of a smarter way to control the performance of our semiconductor materials in customers' application. This method has delivered successful results in different application areas within R&D, quality, and supply chain for our customers since 2018. Thus, we launched the Digital Solutions Organization that focusing on leveraging data in R&D, quality, and supply chain to solve industrial challenges and accelerate learning cycles. Long story short, Data first approach became how we operate now in these focus areas within digital solutions. Okay, thank you. So you've explained the, the catalyst a little bit, uh, but there's so many parameters, the raw process materials, certificate of analysis, et cetera, uh, to manage quality. Where do you start the process and what are the key steps? Well, I'm gonna explain this with the example. Uh, in, in, in April, 2019, I was invited to a task force meeting abroad to solve the aforementioned quality issue with the site experts from quality, production, engineering, and R&D. Each subject matter expert answered one of my questions that is extracted from data analytics study. That time, I understood that the first step is to bring these cross-functional team together to solve the complex quality excursions. Once the team is onboarded, the structured problem solving approach based on advanced data analytics and engineering principles have to be implemented. So the approach consists of detailed process mapping, data mapping, customer data aggregation and analytics, identification of other parameters that correlate with customer's performance indicator. And the last but not least, the most important step is the justification and validation of the correlation results with engineering principles and the subject matter experts, also, of course. As you know, correlation doesn't mean causation. So for instance, in above mentioned study, we effectively narrowed the scope from 1,200 parameters, which includes, as you mentioned, raw materials, process, and quality control data, to the 20 key parameters that had strong statistical significance to a so-called golden batch for our customer with this approach. Okay, thank you. And what, what benefits could device manufacturers and foundries expect to achieve with this approach? Well, uh, there are three key benefits that they can gain in short term, mid term, and long term. The first one is they can proactively identify the parameters beyond certificate of analysis that matter for their FAB performance before excursion of cubes. Just imagine, Pete, the impact of shifting from reactive to proactive in our ecosystem. That means a lot. The second uh, key benefit is the better control of newly identified parameters improves the materials performance in their fabs. And this can contribute to yield optimization. The third one, which is very, very important, the learnings can be used in R&D for new material innovation, which accelerates the ramp up of new generation technology nodes. Besides all, with the extension of this approach to sub-suppliers, customers get more transparency in supply chain to mitigate the risk in quality. We are currently engaging with our suppliers to include their data in our ecosystem as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And could you explain how you provide a seamless coordination of quality R&D and supply chain operations to scale digital solutions? Well, our approach starts at the production level. 
which is in the center of supply chain, interacting with customers and the partners. So we gain learnings from the use of the right technology or system, and then adapt and scale as needed in our platform. Meanwhile, we cascade the learnings from production to R&D and set the standards for collecting the right data during production and process development. This also helps to accelerate new material development in future as we start using the data in early stage of our asset life cycle. And can you also talk about or, or give recommendations of the workflows to manage a complete data management system throughout the semiconductor ecosystem? Sure. So our motto is think big, start small and smart, grow fast. So the Lighthouse projects that are leveraged by data sharing collaboration are good to start with. They help to understand the requirements of the specific business in short term. The learnings from Lighthouse projects should set the foundation for IT and OT infrastructure that is necessary to scale. At EMD Electronics, we went through this journey and set the foundation in data automation, data analytics, and very importantly, upskilling of capabilities to successfully operate the data management system for supply chain, R&D, and quality. So our approach and methodologies assist our customers with improving time to market through the digital transformation process in semiconductor ecosystem. So to wrap up, we create a place for our customers to go to when they need holistic material solutions that are enhanced with digital solutions. Hey, Kodip, thank you very much. That was very informative. Uh, would you like to make any kind of uh, concluding remarks today? Definitely, definitely. Our goal is to supply the best in class material, of course, with the best in class technologies that are ensured with predictive analytics. And, and you know, we are uh, growing fast and we are looking for candidates who might join to our team. So I would appreciate if uh, people can follow our openings and maybe uh, gives us a heads up if they are interested in this field. Okay. I know it's a great company, so I'm sure you'll have uh, lots of interest in that. And thank you for your time today. Thank you very much, Pete.